Hello everybody, it's Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 31st of December 2016 to the 7th of January 2017. First of all, I want to wish everybody a Happy New Year and I wish this year is going to be a wonderful one. I wish we are all, we'll all make the right decisions, we'll do the right moves and we'll flourish in our lives and thrive and help to bring this whole world into a better state and make it a better place for all of us. Amen. So we begin this week with Mars, the planet of action, of entrepreneurship, of everything male within us, conjunct Neptune in Pisces. What is this conjunction? What does it do? Well, it has several effects. On the most optimistic side, this is a time that we could take our own endeavors and our own actions, our own entrepreneurship, and harness it and connect to the masses, connect to the public, connect to that oceanic uh, current that is all around us, and work as a wave of individuals creating bigger and larger change because we have con congrolimated together, because we've joined together. That's on the very optimistic side of things. On the not so optimistic side of things, this conjunction is about dealing with fear. We want action, we want to move forward, but there's a lot of anxieties, there's a lot of fear of the unknown, of the uncontrollable, of the bigger and stronger than us, okay? of things we cannot truly really understand. And these anxieties and these fears can cause paralysis and passivity and a feeling in which we take something that needs to be born into the outside world but keep it inside. And that can create a passive-aggressive attitude within us and a feeling that, we are, that our own limits are being eroded and that we do not really know where the boundary is between us and others anymore. That we've become so passive that we do not know where the boundary is anymore. So one way of overcoming this duality and pushing it more to the positive side is by joining together, is by forgiving, is by forgetting and letting bygones be bygones, letting the pain, letting the fear, letting the anxieties, letting the feelings of disrespect or being unvalued be in the past and work in a more spiritual and higher manner to, um, and dedicate ourselves to the higher cause. These are all ways that we could bridge the more negative aspects and go to the more positive aspect because Neptune also talks about God, talks about creativity, talks about music and talents, talks about nature in its wildest form, about crude materials, about earth and water and air. And when Mars is joined with Neptune, this is a time that these essential resources are in jeopardy, are in danger. And one way that we can bridge that gap is by harnessing our own actions to actually safeguard the planet, to work together with other individuals that feel the same as a wave and create a change that is larger than our own doing. On January 3rd, Venus is entering Pisces. Now, Venus is exalted in Pisces. She's happy in Pisces. It's a time that romance and naivety and those pink tainted glasses could rule. And that could be a wonderful thing because Venus in Pisces understands that if it really wants to receive something out of this connection, out of this relationship, it needs to sacrifice something. It needs to let something, to, to give up something. And that's a very mature and very adult and very spiritual way of looking at relationships. But again, we have to be careful from two things. A, being too naive and not seeing things as they are in a realistic manner so later we don't get hurt. 
That's one thing. The other thing is not sacrificing too much. Not, um, not canceling myself altogether, but knowing where the boundary should stop and what should be healthy and what isn't within a relationship. And a relationship is a business relationship, an interpersonal relationship, or a romantic relationship. <clears throat> Mercury is still going in a retrograde movement, and I bet you're all experiencing changes in, um, changes in communication pathways, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, appliances not working well, internet problems. I don't have internet at home for a week now. I don't remember when that, when that la last happened, happened last. Changes in um, schedules, changes in contracts and plans. I'm definitely going through it and it will continue until the 8th of January and we can all breathe a sigh of relief when Mercury goes back into its regular movement. But um, in the 4th of January, Mercury uh, goes back into Sagittarius, really making us think again about our philosophies, about our truth in life, about what we hold high, about the picture or the language with which we translate reality, the frame we put around reality. And Mercury asks us, are, they, are there still places you need to work on in that paradigm of yours? Are there still places that need to be more exact, that need to be Trim down. Think again. That's what Mercury in Sagittarius does. But these four days that lead from the 4th of January to the 7th of January are really days that can be a changing point in this month of January. Because we have um, the Sun getting into a tight conjunction with Pluto, on the 7th, Pluto is going to be in Kazimi, in the heart of the Sun, and all the Plutonic energies are going to be heightened. And when we bind together this archetype of the Sun and the archetype of Pluto, several things can happen. First of all, changes. Changes within who we are and what we do in our creative endeavors, in the things that we actually create in this world. And the things that we actually create is A, you know, our, our work, who we are, what we do here, how our light reflects from what we do onto other people, onto the world. Our greatest creation is our children. Okay? So matters of children can go, uh, can be under a development or, or a changing process or an evolutionary process. There could be some crises there. We have to pay a lot of attention to our children and to our creative endeavors at this time. And, and there's also something connected with help. Our eyes and our hearts are more sensitive at this point because Pluto is, uh, can cause havoc and the sun is connected to the eyes and to, um, to the heart. And if that conjunction happens in a special place in your chart, check it out and see if you have personal planets there. See if you have anything of essence in your natal chart on those degrees. So the other thing is that Pluto really takes us inwards and, and makes us examine everything that lies beneath the surface so we can get truer and deeper understandings that can evoke and create change within our life, personal change. So it's a good time to go inside and check things out, to be more introverted and to dig inside to find those diamonds. But remember, no need to dig too deep. Remember to look up at the sun and not only down at Pluto. <laughs> And as I said, that dark energy is going to lift on the 8th of January with Mercury moving forward and the Sun moving away from Pluto. 
I hope you're going to have a beautiful week. And of course, if you need personal consultations, if you want private lessons in evolutionary astrology, or you're interested in a course or a lecture, I'd be more than happy to hear from you. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.